Like I mentioned in the previous video at the end with what we we're going to be doing in video three, we're going to be building out the theme so that way our page looks good and we have all the proper information on here and also building out our slider and the other information on our homepage, as well as getting rid of these widgets here and cleaning this up and organizing it more. So that way this is a lot more clean and organized. And so the last thing that we will be doing in this video is setting up each one of our service pages, our individual outline services. So this would be landscaping, lawn care, snow removal, or however you want to word it. This is the way I prefer to do it. And what we're going to be doing on each of these pages is including information about each of these services so that eventually we can build out pages for these specific services and even more so get it down into these specific services attached to a city name. So we have Retain Walls in Champlain, Minnesota, or Fertilizing and Weed Control in Maple Grove, Minnesota, Snow Plowing in Brooklyn Park, Minnesota, whatever your location is, I'm going off Minnesota because that's where this example site is going to be located. For you, it'll be based on the cities that you are in and your work area. So now let's just get into getting our theme all set up. So first things first, let's edit our theme and get that all set up and looking good. So we're gonna go down to appearance and then customize. And if you chose a different theme other than the one I have selected for this site here, it will look relatively the same. You may have a different features that you can set up. However, for the most part, it is basically the same. Right away, we'll go into site identity. If you remember in the first video, we set this up in the WordPress settings. However, if you want to change it, you certainly can. And if you want to upload your logo, you load it right here. Then for colors, the main reason I selected this theme is because it looked really good for a lawn and landscape company because of the color scheme it already had. So I didn't change any colors. You can if you would like. Then for background image, what you're going to need is a very, very high quality image. As you can see on the screen here for the background image we have here, this is very high quality. It's not blurry. It's it's not all pixelated. This image is actually free from a site called Pixabay. And there are thousands of pictures that you can use for completely free. So we'll just go and we'll do lawn care and just search for an image. As you can see, some of the pictures some of the pictures that are on this site are seen here on our site. That's because that's where these pictures came from. If you want to pay for pictures, you certainly can at websites like Shuttershock or other ones where they have a lot more photos available, but you're going to have to pay a little bit of money. It's not that expensive. For 20 bucks, you can get a decent amount of pictures that are good quality. And if anyone out there is wondering whether or not you should buy images for your website, it comes down to the quality of the site. If you have good quality pictures already of jobs that you've done that will work for your pages that are super high quality that were taken with a DSLR camera, then yes, you can definitely use those pictures. But if you don't have those pictures, this is another option. So there's something to keep in mind. There are tons of other stock photo websites out there. So once you get an image for the background, what you're going to want to do is upload it. In this particular theme, you can set it up to be positioned in a very specific way. If you want it to be centered, it can be a northeast side of the image, if that's a way to describe it. And then what you're going to want to do is fill the screen and also be sure to be clicking save and publish. So then we're gonna go down to menus. If you're following in video number two, this is already set up with our navigation menu here. And then for our widgets, what we're going to do is get rid of all of these. Recent posts, recent. So we cleared out the previous widgets, which are, what we're gonna do is add a text. So you're gonna to go to add a widget, go down to text, arbitrary text. And then we're going to do a title. It can be your company. It can be about us, whatever you wanna do. And then just do a quick little bio here, just what you do, who you do it for, where you're doing it at. So then what we're going to do next is go to add a widget, click pages, add a list of pages. So as you can see here, we have the title, it just shows pages. We're gonna to go to what we do, sort of by page title. As you can see, I already have these pages built out. So what we need to do, if you haven't built out these pages quite yet, is go to your dashboard, click pages. We'll go to all, gonna to go to add new, and you're going to title it. You're gonna do three pages, each with the parent page of the service. So this is landscape design and construction. We have another one of lawn and landscape maintenance, snow and ice management. It can be landscaping, it could be lawn service, and it can be snow plowing. However you wanna call it, that's just what we, we just want to get the general outline. We don't want to go into super detail of what the services are that we are offering. We don't wanna have paper patios a part of this menu here. We want it to be just these three main parent services. So you're going to go in, add the title. Don't worry about adding any text. Add in your title and your description as you can see here, best landscaping, paper patio, retaining wall builder in the Northwest Metro area, something along the lines of that. And then you're going to go over here to parent. You're going to make sure that the parent, you're going to make sure that the parent page is your services page. This will make sure that your site structure is proper. If this is the first page that you built out and this is how you want the order to appear on this list here, you're going to do it number one. Then you click publish. And then for the next page, you'll do the same exact thing. Do lawn maintenance, title and description, and then parent page is services. Do 
number two, and then you do another one for snow removal or snow and ice management, snow and ice control, however you wanna word it is up to you. There's going to be a long list of all the pages on your site. So what you need to do is add in the page ID and separate it with a comma to remove it. That we're going to be excluding them from our list because this is really ugly. So we're gonna to go to pages and you're gonna to go to your about page. And you're going to see here up in the URL box, post equals 15. So we're just gonna copy it. It's gonna be here in your URL after post equal sign and then your number before the ampersand. Take that, copy it, paste it here, and you'll see it'll disappear. So do the same thing for your contact page and services page, and then you're going to see this right here. So then next, what you can do is, if you do plan on actually making a blog for your site, I would do this if you can build out five or six at a time and then schedule them out in the future. So that way you don't have to be always thinking about, oh crap, I gotta write a blog post this week or next week or whatever. Keep some relevant content on your site and it helps with SEO a little bit. So what you're gonna do here is do recent blog posts or latest news, whatever it may be. What you can do is really just blog about what's going on and what services are done at this point in the year. If it's springtime, you can always write about the grass is popping up. When the ground gets to a specific temperature, that's when crabgrass pre-emergent needs to be applied. Really just what's, what is going on within your company and just keep it relevant and keep it fresh. At least once a month, maybe even twice a month is ideal. And then you're gonna want to go to add a search bar, which is right here. Just click add search bar and it'll appear there. And this way, someone that's searching on your site, they can find information quickly and easily if they so choose. So click save and publish. So then we go back to our static front page. This should be set up so that it is our latest posts. Save and publish. Go back, basic settings, enter in your phone number, email. If you have a logo, you, you can add it here. Layout options. You can do two columns of blog posts if you'd like. Otherwise you can do one as well, whichever is your preference. I'm going to leave it at two. You don't wanna add anything extra here. So click save and publish. So then we go to social links, that is next. These are all of our links right here. What I did for this, I made a Facebook page for this high-end outdoor spaces. If you don't know how to create a Facebook page for your business, there's a video about that on this channel. Just take a look through and you will find it. It's really simple if you haven't done it before. And then just take the URL from it, copy and paste it into here. Same with your Twitter page if you have one. Same with Instagram, Google+, YouTube. I actually link to entrepreneurship stuff here for you. YouTube. LinkedIn is my own LinkedIn. Don't have a Pinterest account. Doesn't really matter too much. Twitter you can have as well. Twitter's kind of dead. The majority of the users on Twitter are really young and that is not our target market of customers, but it does help with a little bit of backlinking. So that way when we go to our site and we click it, we get brought over to our Facebook page. So we click save and publish. Then we go down to slider and this is what our slider is right here. It's this series of images and text with a link here to bring us to a page on the site. First things first, set up the slide duration. Have it be at least five, six, seven seconds so someone has enough time to read it. For slide number one, we just did Welcome to High End Outdoor Spaces, just a little bit about the company, Premier Lawn Landscape Company, and then a link saying learn more, and it just goes to our services page, and then for the description here, and then what you're gonna do is add an image, just like we did over at Pixabay or Shuttershock or any of the other sites that you want to get an image if you want to pay you certainly can if you have excellent quality images Because it has to be a very high resolution just like our background Then you certainly can do that if you have your own images that are a very high resolution You can certainly use those as well We have one slider for the home and then one slider for each parent service So we have full service landscape contractor with just a picture of a backyard This is from Pixabay hundreds of thrilled clients just some just something about what the services entail and then you will want to link to that page so like the page that we created for and since we created our pages for landscape design and construction we go to it we grab our url and then paste it here same thing with lawn care click it here copy then we go here paste it Save and publish. Back over here to Snow and Ice Management. Copy our link, paste it, save and publish. There we go. So then default blog page. We're not really going to do much in here. And about Excel, that's just about the theme. Additional CSS, you're not gonna add any code. We just wanna have our site up and running and looking good to get people to come to it. So that is that for our customization of our theme. So now what we're going to do is build out each one of these parent service pages with information going a little bit more in detail than the general service page. Since we already have these pages created, we are going to copy and paste this list of services from the service page, 
go into our landscape design and construction page, paste it in, highlight it, turn off the bulleted list, turn on H2 font. These will be the next size heading behind H1, which is the title of the page. What we're going to be doing is filling each one of these areas with a little bit of information on these services, because eventually we'll be building out pages for each one of these services for individual cities. So paper patios, Champlin, general landscaping, Brooklyn Park, retaining walls, Maple Grove, whatever it may be. You can do this with as many cities as you want and as many of these services as you want because the more of these you have, the more likely your page is going to show up in the search result for these services when people are looking for them. As long as your site is set up properly for SEO and you have a decent amount of links pointing to it. We'll cover the more in-depth SEO portion in later videos in this course, but for now, that's just what we are focusing on is just getting some content on these pages. So that way we can link out to our next page so that way people can learn more about retaining walls in such and such city. And then we start after we build out those first initial pages, then we build out the pages for our neighboring cities that we want to target. So what you want to do is write a little bit of information about each one of these services. And of course, at the bottom, you'll want to have a call to action such as if you're interested, transform your landscape contact us today and then you're going to link to your contact page so i'm going to pause the video real quick and write out all the content for this page and i'll be back in a minute we are back and as you can see, this page is all written out. But as you can see, we have information about each one of our services. You'll be doing this on each one of these pages, just taking the list from the services page, pasting it in, getting rid of the bullets, turning each one of these headings into a heading two style font, and then writing a little bit of information beneath it so that way it educates your visitor on the service. And eventually we will have pages built out for each one of these services so that way they can learn even more about it. And these, city, these services are gonna be targeted to a city of our choice. So basically what we're going to be doing, so as, as you can see also is on these pages, I have the keyword put in there just a few times. I believe it's on here three times. I have Champlain Landscaping here, Landscaping in Champlain here, and Champlain for landscape demolitions, Champlain landscape, basically that has the word Champlain in it and that's what's important. So this tells Google once they index our page that this is about landscaping in Champlain and when we have some links pointing to this site saying that yes, it's a great landscaping company in the Champlain area, Google will reward us and rank our site. You'll want to do this for this page, this list page basically as I will call it, you'll want to do this for each parent service. So lawn landscape means you're gonna have a section about mowing, spring and fall cleanups, dethatching if it's a separate service, aerating, fertilizing weed control, and then for snow and ice management, it'll be snow plunk, ice control or salting, however you want to call it, snow pile stacking or hauling off site or, or whatever other services that you offer, and just do a little bit of information on there so that way your reader can understand it. So now you can see this is kind of ugly when we look at it. It's just a bunch of text. I mean, yeah, the background does look good, but we do need some images on this page. So if you're over at Shuttershock, you can pick up some more pictures here, or you can even go over to Pixabay and get some. And if you even have your own pictures, it's not necessarily crucial to have a massive 3000 by 3000 pixel image for these pages because it doesn't need to be that big. That's what we're going to do. So I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to grab some pictures from my landscape company's portfolio that we have, as well as some of the ones from Pixabay. And one quick thing, whenever you're adding images to your site, you want to make sure that the alternate text here pertains to the subject at hand. So this one we're going to do landscaping in Champlain, Champlain, landscaping, something along the lines of that, just relevant to the topic at hand. And you'll click insert into page. And there we go. We have an image there. We can adjust the height. We can align it. Pretty cool. We can even get it to be into the text. So you'll click update. And there we have one image. So now we have a few images on the page here. The alternate text is set up. The format is looking pretty good. So here's how it looks now once we hit update. And of course we got that call to action on the bottom. So the next thing we need to do is link out to a high authority site and we are going to do Wikipedia, in particular their landscaping page. So you're gonna go up to the address bar, copy their URL, come back over to our page, paste it somewhere in our page as a part of our text. And so there we go. 
to copy it, you just highlight your text. You can either hit Control V, Command V if you're on an Apple, or you can go edit link, insert, and then put the URL right there, click apply, and there we go, we have a link. Now, the last thing that we need to do on this page is embed a YouTube video that is relevant to our subject. So since this is a this is about landscaping in Champlain, I went ahead and created a video already. Basically all it is is just a quick slideshow with a little bit of information on it and contact information in the bio, and that's that. You can certainly take some video if you are someone who likes to shoot video while you're out working, or you can even just make a slideshow of a bunch of pictures and edit it and make it into a video. That's that's another option. Just big thing that you want to do is make sure that you have the keywords in the title. So I would definitely recommend making a YouTube video. It's not the end of the world if you don't have a video embedded onto your page. However, it will help out tremendously. It will help out tremendously with ranking, making things a lot easier and quicker. So as you can see with this video, it's pretty much a piece of crap, but it will work for what we're trying to do here, which is get our site ranked and then educate our customer on our services once they start coming to it. So what you're going to go do here is when you're on the video, you're going to go to share and you're going to click embed, copy the embed code, go to the text. This is where you'll see all the code. You're just going to go down to the bottom or wherever you want to put the video and then just paste it in. Then you click visual and there's our video. We click update and we have a page ready to go looking good, ready to have customers coming to it and hopefully some new customers coming into our business. So that is that. What you're going to do now is you're going to do this on each service page. So we have each one of these pages built out now for lawn maintenance here. We have our video embedded, call to action, a link out to Wikipedia, and images. Now we'll go on over to the snow removal page, more content linked out to Wikipedia, and a video, call to action at the bottom here, and an image. As we move towards the next video, what we're going to be doing is building out individual pages for services in the specific city that we are trying to target and get our site to rank in.